We're doing it live, and we're in Vegas. Today marks the 134th broadcast of the show on BYU Radio, but the first day we're live on both the radio and BYU TV. <laughs> so it begins. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're going to look amazing. I'm uh, the last airbender. <laughs> I, look like, I look like Nashif now. <laughs> we now reveal the time uh, of, of today. Okay, the first run. We're watching it. This is run number one. Run, you three, slow piece four, of junk. Run! 5.35. <laughs> okay. I'm disappointed. I well, stop bro hugs. It's a man hug. We man yeah. hug. During the break. And we'll kiss. Nope. <laughs> on the cheeks, though. Oh, okay. On the cheeks, uh, that's all. I already came in and asked, hey, can I have one of those? And you said, oh, I'm sorry. I think those are only for the talent. Taysom Hill is incredibly competitive. He's unstoppable. It's okay, man. She got me like 20 seconds in. Corbin with the spin move. And Corbin is the winner, proving he is the best athlete in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, check that. Second best athlete in the house. What's up, Mark? Coach. What's this BYU Sports Nation karma? Ah, uh, yes. Strong stuff. I thought it sounded a little. September 10th, 2015. Busy Phillips is a guest on the show. Eight hours later, 87th minute, tie game against Utah State. On a free kick near midfield makes the game-winning goal. Probably just a coincidence. Oh, just superstition. So, you know I've got some room in my schedule. Pretty busy, coach. Robinson oh, deep well. down the left field line. And this <laughs> game is tied up. <laughs> Phillips and it bounces into the goal! When did the BYU Sports Nation karma start? Scholars have researched this for a long time. Our best answer to this is in the Big Bang. Halford. It's a red hot start and it's seven to six. 26 for Halford. Like no question about it. Like when that happened, I knew that the karma was a very real thing. There's a Santa Claus and there's BYU Sports Nation karma, no doubt. Party in the city where the heat is on. It's game day. That's exactly right. In Miami. Next on a bowl game day edition of BYU Sports Nation, the Cougars and Utes finally renew their rivalry, the must-watch matchups. He'll roll right, lets it go, finds his guy, touchdown! You know, I'm wide open over here. If John sees me, then he can chuck it over here. A schoolyard thing of just, hey, Try to get open an eye. If I can find you, I'll find you. And it worked. BYU Sports Nation live from San Diego hey, hey, yeah. in Radio Woo! Vision. BYU Sports Nation live from the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a little bit warmer today. Oh, it's five degrees warmer. It's 41. <laughs> Beat Utah! There you go! <laughs> Jared Jordan into the pool. <laughs> We are live from California, Corona to be exact. Spencer Linton and Jerem Jordan doing BYU Sports Nation two hour special Saturday edition from the BYU Fan Fest live from Nashville, Tennessee. Look at this. Look at this. We are in Tennessee and this is the reception BYU gets. Unbelievable. My coaching soul said it was time. Time to be done. Mark Pope, new men's basketball head coach. He returns to BYU after four years as the man in charge at Utah Valley University. In all honesty, the reason I took this job was because I knew I would get to come on here with you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the special live edition of the afternoon BYU Sports Nation. Spencer Linton will join me momentarily. I am Jerem Jordan. Bronco Mendenhall has left BYU to become the new head coach at the University of Virginia. It's great to be back. I've um, enjoyed my journey the last 15 years, and it's great to be back home. We have just received a bit of breaking news. Uh, the Salt Lake Tribune reporting that legendary BYU Cougars football coach Lavelle Edwards has passed away. Wow. <laughs> that caught me off guard. More than anything, he saw more in me than I saw in myself. Coach Edwards' greatest victory was how he touched the lives of, of his players. 
An incredible display of how one man can change the lives of so many people for the better. My dad picked me up after school. I can still f smell, see, hear the, the, on, the, on the radio as big, big girls don't cry. And I'm like, yeah, big boys do. Hey, all of a sudden, by doing this, you bring yourself to a place where people can feel connected to you. Yeah. I, I think I really enjoy that. I think that's fun. You can make it there. Uh, you have the great platform to do some phenomenal things. And by the way, he's going to get a Super Bowl ring this year. So that's kind of cool, <laughs> yeah. too. To have people text you and say, you know, Super Bowl champ, you know, it's just, it's something you'll never forget. Blue 42. Was that the real Ty Detmer? Yes. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Cover two. Was that the real time? <laughs> Avocado. That's Ty. <laughs> Hunting and fishing. Was that? That, that was Jerem again. <laughs> okay. Who's the team, Jerem? And the team is? Croatia! 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 <laughs> BYU Sports Nation <laughs> Karma in overdrive yesterday. Incredible. Croatia beats England in the World Cup semifinal in extra time. If you're watching on BYU have. TV, you may have noticed that we have some new hardware in Studio B, a Division I National Championship trophy. At least for the moment. So we've got new hats, too. Yeah. We got new Those hats. Those are nice, too. They're not as nice as this, but they're really nice. I, more and more people are like, no, like, you guys dominated. And it was just like, it was unreal. It's a super surreal experience. He's Ernesto de la Cruz. From Coco. Fantastic. Yes. Like, show me a better costume today. Not... <laughs> and he's in to, character. He's here to grant wishes in Studio B. Is... Sports Nation, you ain't never had a friend like me. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> it is Eric from Phantom of the Opera. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh the my gosh! Tom Homo. Is it actually Aaron Eckhart, Two Face? Season two of Stranger Things came out today. But what are we doing in the buyer's house, and why are we wearing their clothes? Whoa! whoa, whoa. Why are the lights flickering? What's going on? What's going on? It's dark and cold. <laughs> Sorry to Dennis Pitta, we ran out of time. Yeah. Sorry to Dennis Pitta, ran out of time. Sorry to Dennis Pitta, we ran out of time, bro. Sorry to Dennis Pitta, we ran out of time. Guys, they gave it. They gave it to Jimmer. They gave it to <laughs> <laughs> What are you are doing you here? Hello, Dennis. Dennis, what are, you, what are you doing here? I hope you're happy, Jerem. Now my kid's hey. day is ruined. Dennis's kids, Jimmer was better than your dad. This is a new era in BYU Sports Nation. We're stepping this thing up. We're doing it right. Jerem's <laughs> gone. And, you know, as a matter of fact, we're not mentioning Jerem's name anymore. Sorry to Jerem Jordan. We, uh, we ran out of time for you and <laughs> probably forever. We no longer have time on the show. I have time. Mel Kuyper has not wanted to do the trades in his mocks. You finally convinced him, which is really fun, right? Because of what you said. For 15 years. <laughs> Just 15 years. Jeez. And we talk about a guy that is best friends with Dave Portnoy, and, and you put up with Mel Kuyper. So <laughs> th thanks for being with us today. I got a lot of headaches in my life. <laughs> Some offenses are going to be different than BYU because they'll you know put more on the quarterback as far as you know protections or mic IDs or flipping things around or audibles at the line of scrimmage. And then and there, you know, there's NFL teams that are also very basic and, and don't do that stuff. My dad does a good job of telling me I'm not so great. You know, he's the one that he's the one that pulls it back for sure. You know, he was the first one when I was like, "Hey, what'd you think of the pro day?" It was all right. You know, it could have been better. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be a top five pick or I didn't know if it was going to be undrafted free agent, but I always thought I was going to get a chance. TJ open for three and the win. He got it. He got it. TJ Haas. And remember when TJ's teammate Yoli Childs promised a special season? Well, this team delivered.